on behalf of all the people in Madagascar whose lives you're genuinely going to save, a Malagasy blessing. Sarmandrusu, Sarmiverna, Swavadini Lalna, Unindreo. Good ongoing, good return, and safety en route. Whiskey for Water is a campaign to turn whiskey into clean water boreholes in Madagascar. The challenge is to row 300 miles up the west coast of Scotland, collecting 400 bottles of whiskey as we row. This whiskey will then be blended and auctioned off for feedback in Madagascar. The generosity of the West Coast Distilleries was absolutely phenomenal and the donations that we've, that we've been given there will really make a massive difference. These whiskies that have been passed by the distilleries, not just any whiskies, these are hand-selected, they're aged whiskies. Industry has come together to help and that's what it's about. Being brothers, they each respect each other's talents. Ewan, the oldest, he's an engineer. He's incredibly inventive. So if there are any problems, it'll fall to Ewan. Jamie, he's studying architecture in Glasgow, and he's also very bright. He is extremely fit. Even from a small boy, he would terrify my wife and I climbing trees or jumping off cliffs into the sea and things like that. Lachlan, the youngest one, he's studying philosophy in Glasgow. He thinks, you know, he's brawn, but also brains. I think when they were very small, Jamie and Ewan were really a kind of unit, and Lachlan used to offer himself up for sacrifice in order to go along with them. As they got older, they started doing more and more together. Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world. Feedback Madagascar objectives focus on conservation and uh, development. I started Feedback Madagascar 25 years ago with uh, two purposes. One, to protect the biodiversity of Madagascar because 5% of the species on the planet are only found on the island of Madagascar. The other objective was to help the people of Madagascar because it is the seventh poorest country in the world. We are working to help people living around the forest to conserve the natural resources and to improve their well-being through education and health, clean water access, and to improve their living conditions. Madagascar has 25 million people. 16 million people have no access to clean water. Clean water has an enormous impact, not just on their health and well-being, but uh, it just opens up an opportunity for anything else they might want to do and we put in 200 boreholes for 50,000 people. My reason for going to Madagascar was probably the country and the, the animals and the nature. But then uh, I think the thing I enjoyed the most there was probably the people, so hospitable and kind. We really wanted to not just raise a bunch of money and then pass over a check. We wanted to be able to engage with the charity. I know the number of people we're going to help for a lifetime and the smile on Malagasy children's faces, that makes it all worth it in the end.
Visiting the distillery was pretty special. I think it was insight into Dad's world. We've never seen so many distilleries back to back and you see the intricacies between one distillery and the next. They're beautiful places as well. We were incredibly lucky to be welcomed by the distillery staff and then actually shown around. It's amazing to see the process and the craft behind making whiskey. What we have here is you see two wash stalls, two spirit stalls and that gives you a lovely consistency. Really tall stills, lovely light spirit, very floral type spirit, and we only put it into American first fall ex bourbon as well now. The west coast of Scotland has some of the biggest tides in the world, and the strongest tides in the world. We definitely experienced that. So there's a spike in the seabed between these two islands it just creates so much current coming through. What are you laughing at, Jimmy? We went in, the card reckon, clocked 14.8 knots. <laughs> so yeah, it was a pretty special moment. Dad's been working with a team of experts with Ardenmerchen Distillery and Royal Mile Whiskies, trying to figure out the best whiskies to put into the final blend. The result from Whiskey for Water will be two blends, a one named McLean's Pillage, which is a blended malt, and one named McLean's Spillage, which will be a blended scotch. What a blender is trying to do is to make something which is more than the sum of its parts. It's a completely new product. There is actually very little difference between a blended or battered malt and, and a single malt. The only difference is the fact that a single malt is just from one distillery. Every one of these distilleries have their own particular style, personality. These whiskies from these fabulous distilleries, we will have the consistency, but more importantly, we'll have that harmony. Mm. Sweet, salty, mm -hmm. smoky. I'm just really happy with the results we got. Very different but delicious product. For two days of Whiskey for Water, we had Angus Collins up training us. Angus works for uh, Rannoch Adventure, who are the boat builders, um, but he's also like an incredibly experienced ocean rower himself. Really invaluable tips. You can tell they're competitive guys. They're all great musicians, they're all great sportsmen, they're in a whole load of different sports and kind of got that inkling that they were really competitive. Two of our wash still and spirit still feed into the one warm. It keeps it warmer, yeah. longer in the vapour state before it condenses. It gives us more copper, right. gives us a smell of fruity whiskey we're looking for. Banana coffee. That's banana banana like. toffee, yeah, like yeah. Banana toffee, yeah. We do bring the sort of the sweeter, lighter characteristic, and those will definitely stand out yeah. with something like an Ardbeg or Lefroy. These are hand hammered, and they do it by eye. The support throughout the entire process has been absolutely phenomenal. I think we must have had a hundred or more people involved by the, by the end of it. Creating such a, a wonderful adventure up the west coast, it was pretty humbling for the three of us, but really a, an amazing thing to be part of. The sailing conditions on the west coast of Scotland are highly variable, highly tidal. The weather can change just like that. There was one pretty hairy point we, we'd rowed down the Ardmerkin Peninsula 
um, and this, the weather had turned. The wind was, was up. It was good fun. It was exciting, yeah. There was a, a bit of a kind of break in the weather, which was a bit of a relief. Rowing into Skavig was pretty, pretty special. The Kulin Mountains plummet into the sea, and it's, it's so dramatic. It was absolutely incredible to see Scotland from that perspective. It is just the most amazing place, and seeing the West Coast from the water is really the best place to see it from. Over the last 10 days, we've rowed from Arran up to Sky. Each and every distillery has stepped right up to the plate and from the off has been incredibly generous. To spend 10 days on the boat, rowing for eight hours per day. In some of the most treacherous currents in the world. It was challenging at times, but did give us that really invaluable experience. It really has been, it's been a life-changing experience already for my three boys. And for the rest of us, it's been such fun. Three guys have got an amazing story and I really hope they just carry on inspiring other people and doing cool stuff because they are really cool guys. Well, we sad to say goodbye but we've learned a lot. It certainly gave us all a new appreciation of the beauty of Scotland. It was quite an amazing experience for a number of reasons. Out of the massive generosity of the West Coast distilleries, we've created two amazing whiskies. At the moment, the target which we are well on track for is boreholes for 3,000 people and that's 3,000 people who will have in the corner of their houses and huts a bucket of clean, reliable water that they can drink, cook, wash with without any threat of diseases or sickness. Whiskey has been given to us and we are going to turn that into clean water that will save lives. <laughs>